So where are we tonight on the old Zamba Dog television? I got asked, I just found out how to find comments in my YouTube. So, I'm sorry if I hadn't responded to anybody's comments before because I couldn't find them. Gavin Irvin, Shug, how you doing Shug? He asked me about my welding. Now, I'm a crap welder, but this is the hack that I do. Sheet metal's hard to weld together, okay? I think the key is the two pieces of metal have got to be clamped so tight together there's no gap between them. Then what I do is I get my welding torch. Now, you see I've made a little hole in it, so I hit the button and it goes bzzzed. It'll go bright red round about here. The welding mask will let you see what you're doing when I can't see when I'm welding, so it's will try to do something when you're blind. I imagine if you'd a 400 quid helmet, 400 pounds helmet. Could we get a joke? Could we get a joke out of that? Could we get a joke out of talking about helmets? I've got a 20 pound helmet, but professional welders masks can go up to a fortune, right? So, anyway, I usually put the thing on, I hit the button. You can't see what you're doing. An orange glow appear here, then you can see through the mask again. So what I then do is do a second burst on it. So I set a sort of a burst number one goes bzzzed, maybe two or three seconds. Burst number two goes bzzzed, maybe two or three, two or three, four seconds. I don't know, it depends. You'll see the red pool round about the well getting bigger. Then what I do is the third time, hold it on for a bit longer again. And you can generally see as the mask dims, the pool, sort of, uh, because it's a liquid at that point, it gets bigger around about where the weld is. And you can see if it's penetrated the second piece of metal. If it hasn't penetrated the second piece of metal, I usually walk, move my, well, I'm trying to do this through the phone, move my torch to the end of the pool and give it another burst for a couple of seconds. However, it will, you could potentially blow through it. So there's my welding hacks. I usually do spot welds in three or four second bursts. Now something I noticed, th th these clamps are great for getting in between... for clamping to a piece of metal, getting the weld welding torch in there. Now, the fact that the welding torch blows holes in, st in thin sheet metal, I've used it to my advantage. Let's take this off. Now, so, imagine we've now done a series of... 20 welds across a piece of metal that's a foot long or whatever. The, I, I think the MOT standard in the UK says it's got to be one continuous weld, right? So rather than try to pop all these holes through that Zambo cam, rather than try to, you couldn't pop a continuous line through them. I found that if you put your welding torch on a, a higher setting, once you know that you've got your tacks done, maybe every inch of the couple inches or whatever, once you know that the two pieces of metal are stuck together, I just turn the torch up a bit higher than the machine. And that's the machine there, it's a quad turbo mic. I'm currently using oh I'm currently using Fox Fox core wire in it, mainly because it's cheaper. MIG welders do a much better job. However, you have to buy gas for them, so so where was it? Right, so you're doing a panel, it's a foot long, you've done you've done uh, holes at two inch or one inch gaps, you've tacked all them. I then set my, my machine on high. So that's minimum maximum one on to maximum then what setting two. Then when I go back again, I don't even bother drilling these little holes, right? All I do is what's God, camera works amazing. Isn't it? All I do is zap it on top of the metal, and generally the, the weld machine setting so high that it will melt through the first section of steel into the second, and I do the same thing. Uh, a burst, uh, the, your, weld ma your welding mask will uh, mask what you're doing, you'll not be able to see it as the flash stops. The orange glow cools down to a certain point. The weld mask starts working again. I give it a second burst and then the third burst. It's usually one or two seconds, three or four seconds, three, four or five seconds the third time. And what we're interested in is, is it getting through the second 
piece of metal. So I, I, I think that might be quite a good hack. You don't have to drill all these holes. Then what I do, because the MOT in the UK says it has to be one continuous weld, is I just do tacks. I'll do one there, one up here, one up there, then I'll go back. You don't want to be doing them... You don't want to be filling in four or five tacks between these two holes here, for instance, because there's a good chance it will distort the metal. So do one there, move up to the next one, go along the panel. Then I repeat the process until all the tacks join up. Now, if you can see both sides of the metal, you'll be able to tell whether you're getting penetration. So that, 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 that's a technique that I've built up for myself. I'm not a welder, I'm a novice. There's millions of amazing channels on YouTube that will show you how to be a decent welder. This welding seems I find really, really difficult. Again, you know, because my mask, I just can't see what I'm doing. So that's my welding information and tip video. However, my mate Chris, I've not spoken to him for years, he actually found me on YouTube. Chris is a master fabricator. The two of us were brought up in Bell Cell together. I think Chris is going to come into Glasgow next week and he's threatening to give us a welding demonstration. So, Chris subscribed, he's hit the notification bell and he leaves comments. Be like Chris, do this type of stuff. So, Chris Irvin, thanks very much. Gervin, thanks very much for subscribing to the channel and hopefully, maybe, even tomorrow if you're about, you can come out and show me. You can see it there, actually. Right, that's a tack. There's a tack next to it. There's a tack next to that. There's a small tack there, one there. Da, 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 da. By the time they're all ground down, if I go around the other side of the... Oh, there's Betty back. The Betty, the finger. And by the time I go around the other side of the, the, the van, I'll be able to see how much penetration I've got. And if necessary, I'll do a second seam there. So, the repair in the roof isn't done. The metal work on the repair on the roof is done and I'm quite chuffed about that. It looks like a dog's dinner. All I'm interested in is the bits that you can see from the ground. That's got to be lower than the surrounding metal. Then I can ram body filler across that and you'll not see it. However, my main concern with repairing the roof, as I said in the last video, is water seeping in here and get down inside the vehicle so if chris Gervin does come out we can get him to do it tack some seams along it, and he'll hopefully make it work tight for us what i'm going to do is before i finish this up is pour maybe petrol or turpentine or some kind of solvent to see if any runs down through it imagine putting fiberglass over the top of it then that roofing flashing bituminous uh, material will help it get watertight but I'd rather be well for watertight so there you go on an uh, instructional video and how to make a big mess on 20 year old vans uh, hello to Chris and uh, let's jump down oh. and uh, a progress update, update on one go so as ever Thanks for watching another riveting episode of the old dog te television. It's always appreciated. We've now got Belarusians. My brother lives in Australia. I've got a couple of Americans. I've got friends from the workshop, friends from Wales, Hillary in Wales. She watches the videos. Corinne over in Canada. We're getting the Zambo message out across the globe. So, thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye.